everyone, welcome to this short tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how you can use Passport in conjunction with Cold Card in a multi-sig setup using Spectre Desktop. This video is just an example to demonstrate the functionality of Passport alongside another sign-in device. You can of course create any uh, multi-sig quorum you like using any other devices that, you, that are compatible with Spectre Desktop. Okay, so the first step is to add our two devices. The first device I'm going to add is Cold Card. So I'm going to head up to add new device. Then I'm going to choose cold card. And I'm going to give the device a name. And then I'm going to opt to upload from SD. But the first step on cold card, I'm just going to head down to settings. Multisig wallets. And then export xpub. Call card then says this feature creates a small file containing the extended public keys which you need to join a multi-sig wallet. I'm going to choose the account number of zero which is the default. Call card then says multi-sig xpub file written and it's a .json file. So I'm just going to take the micro SD card out of call card and pop that into my computer. And then with Inspector, I'm going to choose Upload from SD card. I'm going to head to the SD card and I'm going to choose the .json file that we've just exported. Okay, so Spectre's then pulled out the information that it needs. I'm going to scroll down and hit Continue. Next up, I'm going to add another device. This time we're going to add Passport. Again, give the name the device a name. And then this time we're going to use QR codes, which is one of the great features of Passport. So on Passport, I'm going to head to Pair Wallet. Choose the account number. Head down to Spectre. And this time I'm going to choose Multisig. And finally, I'm going to opt to pair with a QR code. So Passport then says, next, scan the QR code on the following screen into Spectre. So, pa so Passport's now showing an animated QR code. And then on Spectre, I'm going to choose scan QR code. It's just going to open the camera on my laptop, and I'm just going to hold up the animated QR code to the camera. Okay, so Spectre's read the information that it needs from Passport, and I'm going to scroll down to Continue. So there we've got our two devices added to Spectre, so now I'm going to choose Create Multi-Signature Wallet. I'm going to choose the two devices that I've just added to Spectre, and then press Continue. Next up, I can give the Multi-Signature Wallet a name. Spectre will default to Segwit, which is the addresses started with BC1, which is what we want to use. And then we can choose the setup of the multi-sig. So for this setup, and again, you, you're free to create your own setup, I'm going to say that we need two signatures from a possible two devices to be able to spend any Bitcoin from this wallet. So what that means is that a, si a single uh, signature from just Passport or just Call Card is not sufficient to move any funds out of this wallet. Then we have the option to scan for existing funds. If uh, this was a sort of historical multi-sig wallet setup that had transactional history, you might want to opt to do this. However, this is a brand new wallet that I'm setting up, so I know that there's no, um, there's no history there, so we don't need to follow that. Then finally, I'm just going to come down to Create Wallet. And there we go, the R2 of 2 multi-sig setup is complete. We can save that configuration file in a backup PDF if we want to. F I would advise you to do that, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to skip past it for now. And if you do skip past it, you can go back and create that backup in, from the settings inspector at any time that you want. So the next step is to uh, make our sign-in devices aware of, the, uh, of its... Um, 
signing partner so we need to make call card aware of passport and vice versa that's so that we can verify receiving addresses um, on the devices when we make any transactions so first step we'll do the call card one so we're going to save cold card file and again we can choose the micro SD card which is still inserted into my uh, device and then I'm going to hit save so I'm just going to eject the micro SD card from my computer pop it back into cold card And while I'm still in the multi-sig screen on call card, I'm going to head up to import from SD. Call card then says pick a multi-sig wallet file to import. And here we can see the name of the wallet we've just created in Spectre. And then call card says create new multi-sig wallet and it gives the name tells you the policy of the multi-sig so it's a two of two and then we can OK so we've saved that setup now into call card call card is now aware of that it is part of a two of two multi-sig next up let's do the same for passport and we can go show passport QR so on passport I'm just gonna press done I'm going to head back out to the main screen. And then head into settings and multisig. And then import from QR. And then I'm just going to scan that animated QR code that's displayed by Spectre to import the wallet file. So there we go. Passport now says create new multisig wallet. Uh, it gives the name of the multisig wallet, the policy and then we can press continue. Passport then says the account configuration has been modified. Do you want to make a new backup, a new micro SD backup? And then you can see from our multi-sig list that we have our Passport 2 of 2 multi-sig that we've just set up with call card. So the final step, as you can see, we've got our first um, receiving address of this 2 of 2 multi-sig. So on Passport, I'm just going to head to Verify Address. I'm going to choose the account. And then I'm going to choose uh, the multi-sig wallet that we've just imported. And then I'm going to scan the QR code provided by Spectre. And then we have an address verified. So we can be sure that the address being shown on screen is actually part of the 2 of 2 multi-sig that we have just created. So the next step is to send some funds into this address now that we're uh, confirmed now that we've confirmed that it is actually part of our um, multi-sig wallet. So I'll go ahead and do that now from one of my mobile wallets. Okay, so if we head over to the transactions tab, we can see that I've just sent in um, some sats and we've got two confirmations. So we are ready to demonstrate a spend transaction now. So I'm going to head to the send tab. I'm going to enter the recipient address and give the transaction a label. We can enter the amount in SATs or in BTC or we can send the maximum. And then if we click on the advance button, we can uh, just tailor those fees a little bit more if we want to. So I'm just going to go middle ballpark there we go and then optionally if I had multiple uh, UTXOs in my wallet I could select um, manually which ones I wanted to uh, include into the transaction which can be uh, valuable from a privacy perspective but given that this is a brand new wallet with just one UTXO in it I'm and I'm sending the full amount I'm just going to go with the settings I've just done next up I'm going to hit create unsigned transaction So we now have an unsigned transaction waiting for um, the required two signatures because as remember we've set up a two of two multi-sig. So first off let's sign with call card and we're going to sign with SD card. 
Next up, we're going to save the uh, unsigned transaction to the micro SD card. And then I'm just going to eject that from my computer. I'm going to pop the SD card into call card and then press ready to sign. Call card is then going to read the uh, details of the transaction that we've just saved to the micro SD card. And it's going to give you a quick summary. So it's going to show the amount, the address that we're sending to, the change amount and the change address, and the network fee. So there we go. Call card has now signed the transaction and saved the signed copy back to the micro SD card. So we can now add that back to our computer. And then we can choose load signed transaction from file, head back to the micro SD card and we should have a part.psbt means that it's partially signed. And then we go, Spectre now says we've got one of a, of a required two signatures. So next up we are going to sign with Passport. Um, this time we're going to opt to sign with QR codes. So what you're seeing on screen now is the uh, encoded version of the unsigned transaction ready for Passport to read uh, and the details of. So on Passport I'm going to go with sign with QR code and I'm going to scan the animated QR code on screen. Passport is going to show me the amount and the destination address, the change amount if there was any, in this situation there isn't, and then the network fee. I'm then going to hit sign and Passport's now shown me a series of animated QR codes which is ready to be read by Spectre. So on Spectre I'm going to choose scan sign transaction. That's going to open the camera on my computer and I'm just going to hold the device up to the camera. And there we go, Spectre says transaction is ready to be broadcast. We can save that to be broadcast later. We can send via an external block explorer, but in this instance, I'm going to use my instance of uh, Spectre, which has a built in node, and I'm just going to choose send transaction. And there we go. We have just spent from our two of two multi sig in a completely air gapped fashion using passport and call card.